already. Maybe that's just the vodka. I don't think his mic is on. Okay, uh, so... No, no, no wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Does this work? Okay. They're going to have to roll me away from this thing. We need a wheelchair for mittens. <laughs> Just pass it along. Get one ready. Just wheel me out of here. I, I figured I'll take the Dr. Strangelove thing to the next level. There you, you know? go. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Okay, so I think everyone's going to be, uh, yeah, this is going to be an, an interesting panel because... It's going to go from sane to just completely crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. I'm Kellen Ravon, CEO of E-Munich. Sorry. Come on, man. You're going to be on the CSM. you got to learn how to be a blowhard. Okay, so um, I'm Kellen Ravon, CEO of E-Munich. Um, I'm guessing a lot of you have heard of us. Um, no. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Um, we're basically CCP's attempt at doing an NPC court, but without being CCP. Um, what is EVUNI? Um, it's a quote from one of our members. E was a game about groups of bastards competing to be the biggest bastard in a battle for money and power, and EVUNI is running a charity. Um, in actual fact, we were uh, founded about eight years ago, um, just slightly more than eight years ago now, um, and we're a neutral, non-profit training corp, um, effectively providing the resources and knowledge and materials to our members so they can go on and be successful. Um, we take in the newbies, we give them basically a whole range of stuff that they can get involved in from you know, industry all the way through combat, wormholes and everything else. Um, and we get them basically interested in the game, keep them interested in the game as much as possible and hopefully they go on and be successful. Uh, we do all of this for free, absolutely no cost whatsoever barring um, you know, optional donations and things like that. So it's, it's entirely free. Um, and we get lots of donations from alumni and supporters and, and everyone else that basically runs the corp and helps us give out free stuff to newbies. Um, we provide a big list of things, um, scheduled classes, guest lectures, corp events, basically everything through to uh, an open community and a loving, nurturing environment. <laughs> 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 Um, basically, this is the completely boring organizational chart of how EVNE is laid out. Um, effectively, we're in, we have, <laughs> it is a boring organizational chart. Uh, there's myself and then the basically five directors who run each of the divisions. Um, and they have managers under them and everything else. So. Uh, however, the big question is, after people leave a uni, where do they go? They go to lots of places. Uh, this is a list of all the corporations and alliances. Um, basically, all goon swarm are there. Um, basically, yeah, name of the corporate alliance that's relatively well known. There's probably a Unister in there somewhere. Um, total of, last time I checked, somewhere in the region of 2,500 corporations or alliances that have uni members in. And alliances in that case counts basically any alliance that has one uni member at least. Spies. Yeah, we have spies everywhere. So if you're war deckers, we probably have three or four guys in your corp already. Only three or four. We don't need that many more. Uh, also, that doesn't actually count alts or anything else. That's literally just people who've been in the uni and moved on. Um, so basically, if you want to help, um, you can drop into our Mumble. Details are on our wiki. Um, arrange guest lectures. So if you basically think we're not doing something right or we could do it differently or whatever, or you just basically want to talk to newbies, really good recruiting option is uh, arrange a guest lecture. 
you can post it on a work fair forum and uh, basically recruit. Um, help edit and expand the, uh, the UniWiki, which is pretty well known for what well, PI thing mainly at the moment. Um, and donate items or risk. That's, that's it, really. All right, um, I'm Mizuki Z, CEO of the Dark Space Initiative. Um, and in complete contrast to Eve University, you've probably never heard of my corp. My slideshow has significantly less text and more funny pictures. And I also don't have fancy transitions. So, uh, first thing you need to know about us is we're a wormhole corp. So maybe that interests you, maybe that doesn't, but we're a wormhole corp. Um, I really decided that we needed someone that does wormholes on the panel because last year it was all the same people. So. Uh, we're a wormhole space group, and uh, so our corp was founded back uh, when, right after Apocry Apocrypha came out. Uh, you know, CCP was like, here's a bunch of wormholes, they're supposed to be really hard to live in, and uh, it's going to be great and stuff. And uh, we were like, we got this, so uh, we started. Turns out it wasn't exactly that hard, but... Um, <laughs> The thing about wormhole space, uh, especially in my corp, is we don't pay attention to nullsec at all. So the only news we really get is when people come and they're like, yeah, I'm joining because my nullsec group fell apart, or we hate blobs, or it got boring, or I need money because I don't make it out there. And uh, you know, it's like uh, my corp bashed me real hard for this because uh, I had a guy join. And he's like, yeah, I left because all the NC fell apart and everything went to hell after that. And I was like, when did it? What? what? When did that disappear? And you go to the map and it's not even there anymore? It's of course like, not that we could do anything with the map. Um, maybe it's because I'm American, maybe it's because I live in a wormhole, but I couldn't tell you where anything in Nolsec is anyway, so. <laughs> um, so, the, uh, back when a court first started, before I, ac I even actually joined, it was founded as a new, it, well, it was a bunch of noobs that wanted to run wormholes. Um, but the CEO wasn't on much, the directors didn't do much, and so it kind of just sat around at like 12 kids putting around in C1s and C2s. Um, so uh, for some reason they thought that was all right. Uh, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but once I joined it wasn't. But um, so I guess I'll age myself a bit here. I met my high school prom three years ago. <laughs> and. I'm a nerd, so instead of dancing, I am standing in the corner talking about Eve with this other kid who plays Eve, and he's like, you should join my cool kid wormhole corp. We're like, so cool. And I was like, that sounds so much better than high sec missions, but naturally everything does. Um, so that's what happened. And so I joined the corp and, uh, yeah. It actually only took me, th uh, it took me three weeks to become the CEO. I'm not sure if that's because, uh, I'm not sure if that's because I'm good or they were bad, but uh, I basically just started pushing to get stuff done. I wanted a bigger corp. I wanted to do something bigger and better, and we just kept moving on. And uh, corp's been around for three years now, and we're up in uh, class five space, which is really the best you can get, because class six goes back to blobs and null sex. So uh, that's the best you really get up there. So, uh, long story short, because I think it'd be really hard to sum up three years of wormholing in just a couple minutes, is uh, we got, got better as we went. Um, when I started, I couldn't fly a battleship, and I can now, uh, not very well, but I can. So, uh, I think we're getting better. Um, I'm sure there's some people that would look at our kill board and say no, because we're, um, you get rich and you stop paying attention and you stop caring when you get killed, so our kill board looks really bad. Um, so a couple things we've learned along the way is uh, nullsec people, they suck at wormholes for the most part. Um, if you're saying no, we don't, it's because you've been playing against other people that are even worse than you. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's because they try to bring the titans through the hole and it doesn't fit, and they're like, how do we do, can you even PVP without titans? I don't know. Um, 
And then it's the other great thing is we make so much money we don't know what to do with it, and I'll show you even further. Um, so, but a real quick joke, because some kids in my court paid me a stupid amount of money to do this, is uh, what do you call a red overlord fleet trying to jump you in your wormhole? Oh. Trapped. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, quick story behind that. We're bashing a pause, and Red Overlord uh, decides that they want to come gank my Moros. So, they scavenge a giant fleet of battleships, scouts, the whole shebang, but, um, they don't notice that I had already put my Moros back and forth through that hole. So um, if you don't know anything about wormholes, that means there's very little mass left on it. So they jump the whole fleet of Macarials through it, with, and they have a cheetah. And the cheetah gets greedy and tries to kill my, uh, he wants to be on the kill for the Moros. Um, this was back when Moros had drones, and uh, he died real fast. And uh, then they realized they were stuck when only three Macarials landed to kill the Moros. And they're like, where's the rest of the fleet? So uh, it turned into me ransoming all of them to get back out of the hole. And <laughs> since then, uh, since then, they really ha I haven't seen them come near us. We have null sex near them, and they just stay away. So um, back to uh, the whole isk shindig. Um, there's a lot of unique problems you have out in wormhole space that you don't have in a lot of the other places. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm completely qualified to be one of those people that answers petitions, because when it comes to wormholes, I think what they have is a little word scanner, and if it finds the word wormhole, it automatically replies and says, we can't tell you about how wormholes work, but I assure you it's working as intended. No matter what you ask them. Or they tell you that they can't move you out of the wormhole that you got stuck in when you're like, I was asking because, like, stuff's stuck in my hangar. I, I, don't, I don't even know. They don't even read them. But uh, we make a bit too much isk, which is why, um, as you can see, we have a very well-fit uh, tango right here. Um, those are gas harvesters, if you don't know what they are. And it has a cargo expander and warp stabs on it. Um, funny thing though is you can't catch those. Um, you can try all you want, but they'll get away every time. And uh, the other big problem wormhole corps have, at least mine and all the ones I know, is we find that the turnover rate's really high. People join, they find out that they hate wormholes and they leave. They make too much money and then they leave. Um, it's a lot of people cycling around, but you slowly accumulate that core of active players. So. That's how you keep go getting by. Um, another one, um, to help all of you guys that have a no sec or you have, you have wormholes, um, this is in fact how wormholes close. It has actually very little to do with the mass of the wormhole and much more to luck and the mood that CCP Grayscale is in. So, there you have it. You might want to you copy that down or remember next time you're going through a hole and see, so just ask yourself, do I think Grayscale's in a good mood right now? <laughs> so finally, a quick bit about what we're doing uh, these days. Um, we're still in a class five and at the rate it's filling up with more ships, we probably will be forever. Um, we just joined a new alliance, and some of you are probably wondering why Wormhole Corps bother having alliances. Sometimes I'm not sure either, but um, it's always nice to have more friends to go beat up on really bad other Wormhole Corps. Because um, we all know that bashing pauses takes forever, and if you can't bring dreads, it takes really forever. So it's always nice to have lots of friends. So uh, that's what we're doing. And, uh, even though we're still rich and my guys constantly lose really badly fit ships, um, we're trying to eventually make our kill board positive. So uh, in a couple of years, we might be there. Thank you. All right. I'm Kesper North, the CEO of Gentlemen's Agreement. And uh, I wanted to uh, give you the real gents experience, you know, giving talking about my alliance and the, the, our usual posting style, a nice long wall of text, <laughs> you know, full of, full of clever literary allusions and some great puns and maybe a pie chart, but uh, Peter told me we didn't have enough time for that, so I'll, I'll just hit the highlights. I'm going to talk about a little bit about our history uh, and a little bit about what we are about as an alliance. Uh, so 
Gents is a PvP-focused alliance uh, based in uh, Branch. Uh, we're part of the Clusterfuck, along with our bestest, bestest bros, uh, Test and Goonswarm, uh, who have always been there for us. Uh, they're, they're, oh, they, they, they're the best mommy and daddy an alliance could have. Uh, so, uh, Gents was founded uh, on the last day of, uh, of 2010 uh, by myself and my partner in crime, Lake. Uh, and uh, we went straight into the war with IT and Fountain, uh, living in the hotly contested uh, region of uh, uh, Fountain. Uh, but we, we founded the Alliance as a stern rebuttal to the follies and excesses of what we viewed as the, the sheer corruption of the Northern Coalition and our previous Alliance, Majesta Empire. We, we wanted to take what we learned there and uh, do something very, very different from what that was like. So, uh, you know, we, we didn't have any super capitals, we had no money, we had practically no members, and we went straight into the Fountain War. Um, and our response to this was, we were so poor, we were desperate to steal every single SBU we could from IT Alliance, every time they, SBU, they SBU'd uh, what little space we had. So, uh, in short order, we had, we had stolen almost, a, you know, like a couple of dozen SBUs every time they tried to anchor them. Um, and this stood us in good stead. Uh, eventually, of course, uh, IT collapsed, uh, and uh, right around the time that the uh, nerf to uh, Sanctums hit, uh, and all of a sudden, Delve was vacant. So we popped over to Delve and enjoyed some sexy, sexy Sanctum ratting, while uh, also engage, uh, engaging in uh, the uh, Thunderdome with our Delve bros. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, we're the, we're the little blue blob down there by Hun Reloaded. Uh, <laughs> however, that, that, uh, halcyon day, the halcyon days of the Del Thunderdome were shortly brought to an end uh, as we abandoned our space in Delve and went to VFK to uh, fend off the abortive headshot attempt by Pandemic Legion against goons, which didn't really work out very well for them. <clears throat> yes, lots of harumph there. Uh, after that, uh, we ended up moving into Cloud Ring, specifically the area around XCH, which was a spiritual home of Goonswarm, and it became a spiritual home of ours as well, and I'll tell you why. The beautiful thing about Cloud Ring is that it is adjacent by gates to seven regions. It is also in Titanbridge range of seven regions. <laughs> and we had just gotten our first Alliance Titan. Oh my god. It was hot drop o'clock all the fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> and oh man, we loved it. It was beautiful. We were fencing with guys like Roque Capel, Agony Empire, Rooks and Kings, Pure Madness, sometimes all four at once. Uh, though we would always sort of tag in our friends from the clusterfuck when that happened, because, wow, that's a lot of dudes. Um, <laughs> But it was, it was a fantastic time to be in Gents, uh, and we really loved it. So we were kind of, we're actually kind of pissed off when Goonswarm came to us and said, you know, you guys ought to consider going on a solo deployment and build up some of those skills for acting independently outside of the coalition. And we were like, well, dude, we're, we're doing this. I mean, we're, we're messing with the syndicate guys every day. But we eventually whined and complained and stamped our little feet and oh, did we bitch and moan about it. <laughs> <laughs> but we finally ended up uh, deploying to Otsusai near Vale of the Silent. Uh, we picked out a alliance called Inter Intergalactic Ep Exports Group. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, they, 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 they were Raiden renters, but they were about the same size as we were uh, at the time, and uh, they, they seemed a little bit wobbly, so we, we decided to go and have some fun with them. So we went on this strictly limited 14-day deployment, um, <clears throat> but on day 12, they fail cascaded. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the slide I literally <coughs> refer to as Babby's first slope. <laughs> Uh, you can see along the right-hand pane a list of all the stuff we stole. Um, yeah, yeah uh, that, they include a couple of freighters, uh, a, uh, a bunch of faction towers as they unanchored, a bunch of stuff from uh, CHAs, uh, and also, uh, Raiden, your moon scans of Vale suck, so uh, we, we kind of mined two tech moons for the entire duration of our deployment because you didn't know about them. <laughs> 
we, we made, not only did we make a profit on this deployment, we made about enough to build another supercarrier off of this deployment, <laughs> in, in, in spite of any losses that we may have incurred. Uh, and Air, international, Air, inter, I'm sorry, Intergalactic Exports Group, what a mouthful. Uh, actually, uh, their members ended up paying us to allow them to evac out of their stations. Um, it got to the point where a single Sino Rifter was camping them into stations on the undock. <laughs> Because, because they knew that anything they did would get hot dropped. Uh, and then, well, there was, wasn't much to do but wait for winter to come. Uh, so this was about when Legion of X-Death was uh, fighting for their lives against Solar Fleet. Uh, and uh, we, we learned that it would be looked fondly upon if uh, we went and screwed around in Solar's backyard. So we, we deployed to cash for like a weekend. Uh, and killed 13 billion -ish worth of rattering stuff. Oh, we, oh uh, and I forgot to mention, uh, we killed about 50 billion -ish worth of IGEX assets as well during that deployment. Uh, so 13 billion -ish in, uh, in ratters uh, during the course of that weekend that we were in cash. We also accidentally saved some uh, derped stations that were accidentally timed for USTZ instead of Russian time zone by death. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, and we also helped save uh, XDEF's capital system as well. Uh, just, you know, we, not in a particular special way. We were just there helping. Um, however, that was also around the time when the branch campaign uh, that carried, out, carried out by the CFC kicked off. And uh, that meant that, oh, we had just deployed all the way from Cloudering to Cache, which was a long frickin' way. And now we were going directly from Cache to Branch. That's a 150 light year trip. Billions and billions, an entire Sagan's worth of uh, jump fuel was used to get us there. I know that the PL guys in the audience are snickering, saying that, you know, we do that like every day, dude. What are you talking about? For a newborn alliance that's less, that was less than a year old at the time, that was actually a pretty huge deal, so we were very excited. Uh, to, to give you an idea of comparison, the entire EVE map from bottom to top is only about 100 light years across. Uh, what ensued in Branch was a painful sov grind. Uh, Lake did the math, and it turns out that we ground through approximately 20 billion structure hit points of effect effective HP during the course of the, uh, the Branch campaign, uh, entirely with subcaps in Australian and Euro time zone. Uh, and we were actually pretty active in that campaign because uh, we have the coalition's only block level Australian FC. Uh, Tradic is a hero and works his ass off, but unfortunately now he's uh, an apprentice baker and has weird hours. <laughs> so we, 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 we can't actually make really use of him news. the way that we once did. But uh, Lake also has no visible discernible time zone, so uh, he, he, he is a machine. And d they were both pulling 10 hour days as, uh, as we worked through that grind. Uh, and the thing about mittens. <laughs> The thing about Mittens is that this man is death on alliances. He, he can make an alliance fail cascade just by looking at it. <laughs> uh, oh, oh God, oh God. People are talking about me on the internet. <laughs> oh, and I hear somebody talking about me. <laughs> well, next, next Der Her Der is gonna call in. Yeah, yeah, I would, he should. Uh, so, uh, yeah. you. you this man cannot look at an, at an alliance without making it fail cascade, and honestly, uh, it was a foregone conclusion. Um, <sighs> poor guys. And, and also, we, I worked a little bit of Lake's uh, graphs in there that you'll note from his posting on a certain site that cannot be named in this forum. Uh, so we're very happy with where we ended up in uh, our current space, which is in Branch. Uh, for the first time in our history, we're not really looking for a new home. Uh, which puts us in a, in a really nice position uh, because we are, uh, uh, you know, able to uh, sort of look to ourselves and, and build ourselves up uh, both in terms of numbers and uh, what, we're, what we're able to do. Uh, and we, we've, over the course of our first year, established a nice uh, sort of solid culture as an alliance. Um, also, I want to point out that whoever whatever person decided to upgrade a Galente station with a refinery upgrade in a pocket that has four dedicated refineries. Uh, we've named this station in your honor. I think that used to be mostly harmless space. You can probably blame them for that. I mean, this is Jack's lack of surprise. Uh, so, 
in any alliance, there's a, there's a certain uh, unique cultural aspect that brings every alliance together. And, you know, gents really goes for sort of the, the top hats and monocles, uh, you know, gimmick. But really what it comes down to is a, is, a, is a shared enjoyment of playing the game in a specific way. And what gents is about, uh, if I could just boil down gents culture into a, into a pithy phrase, it would be chill but competent. Uh, in other words, not like this guy. Um, uh, Twink, Twinkie is awesome, but it's just not our way. So, um, anyway, uh, so the, 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 the thing, though, about, about our culture and the way that we do things is that, you know, we, we're more interested in uh, preparation than in results. Failure is going to happen. Um, and, you know, the important thing is that you learn from it. You know, there's no use in screaming about it, but Lake has the most amazing, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed voice, and it works wonders <laughs> on people who have screwed up. Um, we, we don't, we're not super elite PvP. We, we uh, are happy to take rifters in our fleets. We, we really are really firm on the fleet doctrine thing, but there's always a place for newbies that we do have a passion for fire, fire tales, in, uh, as you can see from this slide. Um, and the main thing is that, you know, you, you do the research, you, you're aware of what can happen, and if you make mistakes, you learn from them. Uh, we, we, one of the biggest threads on our forum is just, you know, sharing uh, the, the, the ways that things have gone wrong and things that you've learned in a given operation. Now, if this sounds a little bit more serious business than your average clusterfuck alliance, that's a, that's a fair assessment. We, we work pretty hard to be competent. Uh, and uh, I, 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 know, I know that's a, What is this competence in my clusterfuck? I, I, I know that's a bold statement, but yeah. We, we, we feel, we, we, we try really hard to be good at EVE. We, we actually care about it and, uh, and uh, you yeah, know, we like it. It would be really easy to succumb to cultural assimilation. Goonfleet.com, motherfuckers. God right damn, there. yeah. And, and you know what? One of, one of my happiest Frog days. Out. One of the One of my happiest days was the day that we finally got access to the Goon Wiki because it's awesome. Uh, it would be really easy for us to accept assimilation. We're, we, as members of the coalition, we are, are heavily steeped in Goon culture and politics and, and policy. And it would be really easy for us to just sit back and, uh, you know, go and lie on a beach somewhere like I did for the most of the last two weeks. Um, and let, you know, goon swarm culture inform our alliance. But that, that way, in that way, just lies irrelevance. You, you have to work uh, to develop your own culture and do your own things, even within a coalition, while still fighting uh, really hard to, uh, to be a major part of that coalition as well. So you have to strike a balance there. Uh, yeah, I know that that was in a fact avoid intentional. Avoid from assimilation, smug. I, I know, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, it, I, and in fact, it, it, every single member of the Gents executive team has uh, imported the the uh, I am smiley pack from Goon Swarm, and we use it constantly. Uh, my wife's personal favorite is the Picard. Ugh. Uh, but. Uh, it, it, it's really, it, it, you know, the, the, you hear a lot of things about, about Goon Swarm and the clusterfuck, and you, you, you might think that, uh, you know, it's, it's a dangerous uh, place to be because of the, the reputation that Goon Swarm has, but honestly, these guys are the best allies you can possibly have. They will always be straight with you if you're blue to them. <laughs> the, I said these guys. <laughs> you know? <laughs> anyway. You know, it, what? <laughs> they're, they're solid guys. Anyway, in conclusion, though, uh, I have to admit that I, I bought my condo with credit, and uh, I'm a terrible saber pilot, but my... Oh, I missed a slide. Whoops. Uh, but, but my cat is awesome. So, and I hear that Mittens didn't bring the slide about his dog, so she's undefended, well, or uh, undefeated, rather. Anyway, thank you very much.
Okay, uh, hello over there. I'm Sam Slinger, CEO of Northcorp Enterprise. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wo work a little technical magic here since you showed up late. Ooh, calling you out. My cat owns. All right, okay. Elena is, uh, yeah, I'm part of No Holes Bar the Lines. Also, uh, uh, basically, it, what I'm doing is, what I'm doing is, I'm not, I'm not going to do slides. I'm going to do a presentation of something that we have collected since September 2010. Um, what? Okay, okay. I'm going to use this. So you're going to um, give me a sign. I hope you guys enjoy listening to it as much as we enjoyed collecting it. And when your anthem comes on, if you could stand up. Thanks. Okay, right. I'll start from the beginning. I'm Sam Slinger, CEO of Norcorp Enterprise, part of No Holes Barred Alliance, also a Wormel Alliance. Um, we have been collecting ransoms, very unique ransoms, since September 2010 that we now want to share with you. Um, the last one that we needed to get one from was Russians, and we managed. It was really, really hard, but we managed. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy listening to it as much as we enjoyed collecting it. And if your anthem should come on, uh, please rise. And in actual fact, I noticed that... Ransom. Ransom. <laughs> one, one, one of the ones that we have is actually now in your alliance. Well, it wasn't at the time. And, uh, please stop. Oh, say can you see the Star Spangled Banner? See, I told you I'm lousy. I love freedom. Continue, no interruptions. No excuses. Give me a second. My wife's coaching me on what the song is. <laughs> Just because I'm American doesn't mean I remember the song. You can hear your wife singing. Your wife can sing along with you if you like. Do what was that? I said we can hear your wife singing in the background. She can sing along with you if you like. If it, uh, if it makes you feel easier. Can you hear her? Yes. You, can. you see gold Yeah, sure, so might as well go ahead and get started, shall we? <laughs> yes. Please go on. Canadian National Anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. Jeg gjør det jeg må gjøre for å få den fredelige helvirelse på her. Ja, vi elsker dette landet som det stiger frem. Urettverdig over vannet med de tusen hjem. Elsker, elsker det å tenke på vår far og mor. Og den sag om at som tenkte drømmer på vår jord. Hello, Zutar of Frozen Dawn. How are you? Hey, I'm very well, thank you. <coughs> okay, um, you understand the terms of the, the ransom? <laughs> you will sing your national anthem for the price of survival of one orca. <laughs> Okay, okay, here it goes. Oi, mamma, so mi sunnil ma, so i sana kuta ilen. Ei lakso a, ei kukkula, ei vetteran ta rakkampa. Kuin kotimaa tää pohjoinen maakallisi sien. Yeah. 
Endorse. Hello. You want to hear my national anthem? Yes, please. Well, uh, here it goes. The Dutch national anthem. Wilhelmus van Nassauer ben ik van Duitsen bloed. Den vaderland getrouwen blijf ik tot in den dood. Een prins van oranje ben ik vrij onterveerd. Den koning van... Hispania, heb ik altijd ge... I think Mr. V is ready, from Dan. here. <laughs> Are you ready, Doug? I yeah, suppose. All right, on three. One, two, three. Oh, oh say, say, say. <laughs> can't see by the dancer be What's your problem with Twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and what, what the hell's wrong with you guys? <laughs> broad bright stars <laughs> Through <laughs> the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streamed And the rocket's red glare which paid peace to the night that our flag was there. So we say that that star thing would banner yet wake for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Yeah, go ahead. Russia, Russia, my country. Russia, love my country. Magucha volia, velika ya slava. Tvoyom dostayanie na vsho zimina. Слася Отечество наше свободное братских народов союз вековой от южных морей до полярного края раскинулись наши леса и поля одна ты на свете, одна ты такая, хранимая Богом, родная земля. Слася Отечество наше, свободное братских народов, союз вековой. Высокий простор для мечты и для жизни, идущие нам открывают, открывают года. Hello. Okay, here we go. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make it brighter day. So let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We saving our own lives. It's true, we make a better day. It's you and me. There comes a there comes a time when we had an incursion call. When the world must come together as one. There are people dying and it's time to lend a hand to life. The greatest gift of all. So that's okay. Feeling? You need to feel idiot. You need to do the second verse, but with feeling, you know, we need to feel that we are the world.
So there's a penis running for a minute? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna close this now. <laughs> I can't top that. Nobody can top that. Jesus Christ, man. Is it me? Yes, it's you. Are you just gonna give up now, Michael Bolton? Or are you gonna, you, are you, are you, are you gonna try right. to drink a little bit more to power through this? Hold on. You can do it, man. You can do it. Michael Bolton. I love hearing the sound of my name. All right. Hold on, Who Bolton. doesn't? Fuck you, bro. All right. I'm Michael Bolton from Test Alliance. Please ignore. Uh, many of you have heard of my alliance before. Uh, a lot of people say uh, we're just goon pets. We're just like goon swarm in any way. But there's a there's a distinct difference. So this is this jailbait. is goon swarm. This is goon swarm. Our jailbait. That's the difference. You can see. Yeah, I, I also try <laughs> jailbait. I can't fucking see the screen. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is the goons. The tagline is every ship counts. By the way, I made this presentation like an hour on Sunday when I was also shit-faced. So we'll see how this goes. And then this is, uh, this is test. Please stop losing them <laughs> in stupid ways. <laughs> our enemy conquered us because our leader li alliance leader quick after our members refused to fight since they don't feel the same... <laughs> Uh, feel safe in the belt because of an embarrassing T3 loss when our defense fleet did nothing while their gang roamed freely due to bad intelligence after our ratters were killed because you were trying to, they were trying to save you since you were AFK ratting. Every ship counts. Uh, so people may be recognizing me. Uh, I was also in the Alliance tournament last year. Whoa, fuck. Get this fucking chair out of here. By the way, while I'm, I'm gonna pause in between the joke, I would like to note that while these guys look classy, I also brought a blazer, but it looks gay. So I'm not wearing it. <laughs> All right, and you may also know me from Rock Band. This really didn't show up as brightly as possible. I'm the person with the shirt off right there. Uh, you'll probably see a repeat performance tomorrow if you stop by Battle of Bands. And of course, you may have seen me done this, do this panel as well. So what the fuck is the next slide? It oh, yeah. It was probably about you. Shut up, bro. <laughs> so, we'll give... I don't want to repeat my same alliance panel last year because that would be gay as shit and nobody would like it. So I'm going to give a brief overview of what I talked about. Last year, I talked about test fleet tactics. <laughs> I talked about test ships. I talked about delicious slopes. I talked about killing IT. I also talked about jizzing on my alliance leader. <laughs> What's, I, it's, no, that's exceptionally thin semen. I'd like to thank Wordy Door from ESG. Yeah. By the way, yeah. ESG, known for their exceptionally thin, thin semen. And no longer blue. And no longer blue. All right, what's my next slide? Oh yeah, so this year, okay. <laughs> This year, we've upgraded. What has Tess done in the past year? I'm gonna tell you, that's what I wanted to say. I'm way drunker than I should be. All right. We upgraded Chimeras and the New Drakes. Uh, we changed our hierarchy, as you can see. Eve Uni had an excellent diagram. We have a diagram as well. And we posted about ponies, lots of ponies. But in the process of going over what we, Tess has done in the last year, I learned one very important fact. Tess during peacetime is shit. <laughs> now, let me tell you about where we were when we started the last, <laughs> just after the last Alliance panel. Just after the last Alliance panel, the NC was dead. They were being held up by goons and we not. And we said, man, I bet you we can save the NC. They're being invaded by Russians. We've got a lot of people. This is our moment to shine. We thought it was going to be something like this. Tess was going to fend off the Russian media and protect the NC. But what it actually turned out to be was something like this. Tess reset the NC and we fucking killed them. <laughs> oh. What's what? I fucking forgot what my next slide is. Oh. <laughs> Last summer, Tess was representing the Alliance panel, but the real star should do his eyebrows. You can see them there. Uh, he's, a, he's a passionate lover. Uh, <laughs> Last summer also, we uh, had the Dell Thunderdome. <laughs> 
We, uh, there may have been some problems with Moises Mihi and Delph. Uh, <laughs> test, test Edria's period of purging. We decided to kick out a bunch of our shit corpse. We kicked out ESC, Cryptid and Sleepers. We kicked out Shadow and Light, seeing they're being thrown from the vehicle, the shittiest FC in all of EVE Online. We kicked Broski, yeah. who went to go on and form Elite Space Guild. As you can see, this is Tukes and White Tree. White Tree, also a CSM member, not here, this, this fan fest. What is, for those of you who don't know what Broski is, this is Broski. <laughs> So Broski, after forming Elite Space Guild, decided, who do we know that's really cool? I know, the Matani, he'll help us out. <laughs> so the Matani used Broski to fill their fucking fleets and just rape them in the ass. And even though I love him like a true man love should, he's, he fucked Broski hard, it was great. By the way, these images are, are, are thanks to myelinated neuron stew. Excellent bros uh, propaganda producer of Broski. All right, what's, what's my fucking next slide? Oh, we made doll. Test friends, please ignore, please ignore our Provincia Corp, which I am the recruiter for. Basically, doll just sucks test dick, and that's all we like. <laughs> what else do we do? Oh, we, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we deployed to, uh, where the fuck was that? Uh, Somebody yelled, where were we? Geminate. Geminate, yeah, that's it. <laughs> we went to fucking Geminate to fight Pandemic Legion and fight Kriba because he's a puppy, and so are Pandemic Legion. So we decided we're gonna fight there, we're gonna kick Pandemic Legion's ass. Unfortunately, when we got there, we thought they were really cool, much to the dismay of some of our allies. <laughs> <laughs> so what the fuck is my next slide? I think it's, I think what Tess is gonna do in the future, oh no, we deployed to Veil of the Silent. <laughs> this may have been, you may, you may remember this. Oh, no! <laughs> what, 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 okay. But now that, now that we've successfully climbed out of the basement that was fucking Veil of the Silent, we're back in Fountain, and we're deciding what we're fucking gonna do next. So what should we do? Should we give 60 VDT to Snake, our capital? Yes, we should. What else should we do? Reset test? Yes, we should. No matter what, in the future, Tess will always be an absolute shithole. And any of you that want to join can fucking come talk to me at any point. I will let you into that shithole. I fucking let Bobby Allison, I'll let you in too. Thank you very much. Squad. Uh, it, Where's the platypus? <laughs> not, not yet, hold on. God, you're killing me. Hattery that is leading an alliance or a corporation. Alcohol numbs everything. I can't even begin to compete. Dirt Nap Squad, founded in 1995, well beyond Eve. Um, been online gaming for a very long time as an organization. Um, as with all these other groups, we set out to do different things in EVE, and uh, our quest over the last year, we kind of disappeared. I'm sure if any of you have ever seen an Arazu, you know definitely don't tackle the Arazu. If you've ever been seen our group, we're all black ops. Our goal for 2011, because we're at this fan fest, was to um, infiltrate Jove Space. I, had, I was set on a uh, quest by the Matani last year to go and uh, find out what was in Jove Space. All right, and I'm going to share that with you tonight. 
I have footage that has uh, uh, got three of my accounts banned that I'm going to show you. Um, three of them were biomass. CCP got very upset with Dirt Nap Squad while doing our uh, exploratory uh, jumps into Joe's space. I cannot share the formula that we used. It involved Sino ships, black ops Sino ships, and a lot of ass hattery and a lot of alcohol and a little bit of acid added in on top of all of that. <laughs> I completely forgot because I've been drinking way too much what my next slide is, so we shall continue. I love PowerPoint. <laughs> First game we ever played was Combat Flight Simulator in the Zone. I shared that with you last year. Uh, it was probably one of the, by far, one of the biggest games back in 1995, going out in um, probably some of the worst graphically designed games I've ever played, and uh, blowing up other people's airplanes. That progressively led to a lot of other stuff within DNS. Uh, first person shooters, so on and so forth. We then uh, played Planetside and then moved into Eve, of course. But that was the birthplace of DNS. Again, look at that, that's just ridiculous. In 2011, 2012, DNS set out to break the Jovian code, jump into their space, and be the first to hot drop this race. That's why we haven't been in game much. And I love the wormhole guy. It's wormhole. Jovian, find it. You'll be all over it. You will break new ground. <coughs> we wanted to do this before the Mayan calendar ended this year so that we could say that we were the first. The video that follows is what we found. EVE is a really big game. It's, uh, it's designed around freedom in many ways. Uh, much of the philosophy behind the design of, of EVE has been to providing tools to the players to be able to, to do big things within the game. This is in Joe space, ladies and gentlemen, never seen before to the EVE community. Some of the most extensive PvP ever seen in the E community is about to follow. It just took us a while to get there. That was the jump. He missed, just so you know. Obviously, it wasn't the Titan tracking. <laughs> also, come find out that their orange store had this, and we all purchased one. Uh, I don't want to name the DNS members that are pictured there, but that's called the hand bra. After we broke the Jovian code, <laughs> okay, after we broke the Jovian code, it was quite interesting. The head of the Jovian Empire um, called me and said, you broke the code, you won the prize. I said, what's the prize? He said, you get the magic wizard hat. And what happened was, it was shipped to my house. CCP doesn't know anything about this. I asked them. And it showed up, and it came with three magic missile space balls along with it. And he says, when you were at FanFest this year, because you broke the code, you need to pass this on to the true wizard of EVE, the man that has finally broke the Titan code and the tracking, the Matani. So, gentlemen, <laughs> I give you the first time ever. Magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Am I LARPing? Yes, you are! I love oh, you. God! I better take the knees. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead! Oh, You're dead! Head over your head. 
The first ever LARPing at the Fan Fest Alliance panel. And the first time we've ever seen the uh, hand bra. Because oh. we're all nerds, we've never seen one before. This, <laughs> one, of my, one, of my, one of my court mates sent this to me and he wanted to pass this on to CCP. Uh, just follow the chart, it's confusing, I'm drunk. But it's definitely the approach that we use in our alliance and we like to pass that on to CCP. First of all, does the damn thing work? Yes, don't fuck with it, no problem. Does the damn thing work? No. Did you fuck with it? No. Will you catch hell? No. <laughs> Shit, can it? No problem. So gentlemen, that we give you as the DNS intelligence line. That was Jovian hidden records that I think was forgotten. We're gonna move on. Look at all that fancy wow. graphic shit. That was sick. Wow. 2012, we had an Alliance uh, logo contest that brought out some of the Alliance makers. The Alliance logo that we selected to represent us during 2012 was this one, and it's properly displayed on the shirt. Look at that, it's pretty cool. It, you like that? You see that? It's good. <laughs> I was debating whether to put this slide back in this year. Um, I had this one in last year, but I, I, I searched everywhere on the internet, Google, Bing, the whole nine yards. I couldn't find a better picture to represent the Eve player and what it feels like to be on both ends. Have you ever been so angry that you, were st that you started to swing a cactus out of that anger? Somebody's car got blown up, this guy's pissed off, this guy's going, I got it, or however you want to interpret this slide, but that, my friends, is Eve in a nutshell. <laughs> Gentlemen, that's DNS, uh, we are the Dirt Nap Squad. We live everywhere, we kill anything, we drink way too much Jaeger, and all the other ass hattery that happens in Eve. Um, the last thing that I was asked to do was, I love this hat, but it is not mine. I need to pass this on to the true wizard, the man that is fixing Titans, the Matani. <laughs> DNS, don't you dare tackle one of my Arazus, I will kill you. Real quick, wait, 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 before he starts his presentation, Deal with it! You need to deal with it. Deal with right it. Now. Deal with it. I just wanted to say uh, I'm a fucking wizard and I shoot <laughs> lightning bolts from my fingertips. <laughs> I've been saying that uh, for, uh, I guess, about a. M when did we find out about the Titan Nap? I don't know. A month ago? <laughs> fucking wizard. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so uh, I got nothing. Uh, everybody, like, my presentation last year sucked shit. I know it. You know it if you had to sit through it. It was uh, oddly reminiscent of a, uh, a history of Goonswarm. And uh, listening to a history of your alliance, as we have all recently been reminded, uh, gets a little boring. Oh, thanks, So, well, you're welcome. So, what I figured I would do, actually, is talk to you about why we play Eve, rather than talking about the history of my alliance and being really boring. So, people think that Goonswarm is here to, uh, can you, can I get some fucking Red Bull here? I'm like, the only way this is going to happen is if I drink more. So, um, You're people, learning from me. You're learning very carefully. I am, I am. I figure if I get drunk, I might become interesting. <laughs> so the reason why goons play Eve, people say that we want to destroy the game. Uh, a few years ago, Darius gave a presentation, now CCB Streaks. Well, high as fuck on Xanax and drunk. Uh, and he said that, you know, we're not here to destroy the game, we're here to destroy your game. But that's not true anymore. That was years ago. The truth is, why do we play Eve? We play Eve because we love you. <laughs> we love you! It's all about you. We love you uh, when you pray. Uh, <laughs> This is from uh, Creed Richards, uh, director in Firmus Ixian Alliance, who uh, decided that the best way to save his alliance from the terrible Goonstorm Scourge was to uh, pray to Jesus Christ. There's not much that I can do for my corp or my alliance these days except pray. God has delivered Fix many times from the brink since the first war. The prayer I posted above the 9CG station, which he actually did. He put in a fucking cargo container a <laughs> prayer to save his Eve alliance. I wish I was making this up, but this is Freedom Land for you. Has been answered, I thank him for that, and I hope that God will answer it now and defeat those who wish to undermine us so cruelly and thoughtlessly. 
I hope that we can be lifted up, strengthened and resolved, Christ-like in mutual charity, and fight this. <laughs> fight with honor, fight with conviction, and make a good accounting of ourselves, and God willing, rout this foam. Uh, then he says some up sort of boring shit and then goes back to Fix has suffered so much these past few months, some wounds self-inflicted and they've yet to fully hear. Peel, we need to get back on our feet, stand tall again, even in the face of such darkness, which is, I guess, uh, my band of morons in my alliance. Uh, we love your titans. Uh, we love titans and we especially love when they get nerfed. Dear CCP! If you do this nerf, then give back all the pilots and titan skills, because we spent five bill for skill and hundred bills for this titan and wasting like three months for not make skill. And now we can't use this ship because this Mitani not have <laughs> skill and isk to take titan. Me star Mitani. Go play preplex on. I don't know what preplex online is. Maybe it was a perpetuum joke, but it's, it's very confusing. There's capital I letters. Think he means perpetuum. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to do my best here. Play Preflex Online and stop going to CCP because you guys goon, uh, goon, can't fly titans. <laughs> or make server for goons and let us play fair. CCP one prepared to have six, seven, I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Anyway, whatever. This was awesome. This was the best post in the titan thread. I fucking love this shit. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to guilt trip you all. Uh, I want to read a, a little disclaimer before uh, I read this post. Um, he's not dead. We think. He might actually have killed himself, but I'm just going to lie to you all and tell you that we're sure that he's not dead. He might have committed suicide. So now it looks like you'll still gank me. This was during the Galente Ice interdiction. We found a guy who had 23 accounts with Mackinac's. 23. <laughs> we thought he was a bot. We used locators. We tracked him down. We're like, we got to get this motherfucker. <laughs> so one of our guys, one of our best dread pirates, you guys all know the Galente Ice interdiction we did this year. Uh, Atrium Vinificus is a fucking hero. He locates this guy, he gets him, he blows him up with smart bombs, catches him on a gate with his entire fleet of 23 Mackinaws. And uh, then he decides to, to talk to him, and he sends him, you know, sends him like, you know, hey man, you know we got a protection program. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why you got blown up, man, is because you weren't on the list, right? So all you gotta do is you register your 23 Mackinaws with us, we put you on the list, and you're all good. So uh, then conversation ensues, he sends him the money, and we have this. And so now you're all gonna feel very guilty. You'll get douche chills. So now, it, so, so now it looks like you'll still gank me, and I work hard to keep going in this game. Sorry, I'm very mad. There was more plexus from my guys. Yeah, I can make the back easily, mining if I could mine. I'll just get popped by you guys no matter what. For some other dumb shit. Sorry it was hard. I've had my own alliance members send people to gank me. Now I feel I've been suckered and I've been giving away 1.3 billion is, which was what it cost to register in the protection program. <laughs> Since my divorce, all I want to do is die. And I've been doing that a lot lately. I'm sorry I did not understand. I'm just sick and tired of sitting here alone and having to play with myself. <laughs> and he wonders why I got divorced. <laughs> Everyone that I've helped out of this game and in real life just takes what you have and that's it. Never to hear from them again. <laughs> I'm getting tired of everything. It was nice mining ice when it lasted and took my mind off everything. Even though some people may say I am a bot. I'm not. <laughs> I run all 22 accounts myself. It's not easy, but it keeps a man sane. <laughs> Sorry for making you mad at me. I will leave you alone now and never enter your space again. We told him that Amar space was ours. <laughs> I, it was the Galente ice interdiction, but when we saw the guy with 23 Macadaws, we kind of had to make a little detour. <laughs> I will leave you alone now and never enter your space again. I will be off looking for a nice, quiet corner somewhere. Wow. I, I suppose I'm not drunk enough. No, no, you're not. I can hear your words clearly. <laughs> <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is the CCP Sreeg's approved method of giving an alliance presentation. We love you when you sell super caps. By the way, uh, I run a uh, super cap Third party service.
You, you might have heard of me. Uh, I'm pretty much just like, uh, you know, there's Kriba, there's Darkness, and there's me, the Matani. I lead an alliance, and you can trust me, because uh, if I, I scammed you, it might sully my good name. <laughs> you know, honor, honor is a big thing in Gitsum. So this was, a, this was a guy who my bro, Carthus Jane, who is here in the audience, hopefully somewhere, who is the, yes, that is a man! This man sold seven super carriers. They didn't exist. <laughs> I, I was only a brief party to that. I was just a third party, you know, I'm, I'm anyway. So uh, I'll tell you that then. I will hire people, mercenary. Track you down. You know, there's some locators that helps with that. And I'll pop the nicks, whatever alts you've related to this character. I have isk, a lot of isk, and I don't like being scammed. For that reason, I will spend a lot of money to see you going down. So if you want to prove that you didn't want to scam me, send me back to the isk, or fly my fucking nicks back to period basis. I proved that I was honest and gave you the nicks. Now it's your turn. Looking forward to solve it in a nice way, otherwise it'll be the highway. I, what I don't think this guy understands is that, you know, we, uh, we just flip him around on Evo. We just take him and immediately, like some other guy, maybe he's chasing down that Nyx. Yeah, I mean. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm really, I want to say, uh, DNS Black and I did not arrange this beforehand at all. I just happened to have a fucking wizard hat, and uh, I'm a fucking wizard. No fat chicks. It, it was the uh, it was the Jovians. The Jovians gave me the wizard hats. Yes. So uh, we love you when you uh, try to join us. Uh, Goonstorm Corp Federation is a very well-known uh, newbie organization for newbies from something awful, but we do occasionally recruit members of the public. Uh, we call you pubbies, but that's because we love you. <laughs> <laughs> and so occasionally we do recruit some of you. And uh, after seven years of mining, producing, and inventing, and uh, after a year of hell, a hell lot of time in hospital, I, uh, I have to quit Eve. I don't blame you guys for playing Eve that way, but was it, was it really necessary to go to the recruitment channel, pretend to recruit a miner, <laughs> then rob him and finally pretend that he's welcome and uh, kill the Rorqual? <laughs> if it's not for ISK or for reimbursement, it, it's just a question of how anyone can humiliate someone this much and still call it fun. All I wanted to have on comms was an answer about all that. And all I got was, was even more humiliating when you tried to make me sing for reimbursement. <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. What you call fun is so far off from whatever I could understand that it seems better for me to leave this game. Alex, real quick. Uh, Michael Bolton just went to the bathroom to take a piss. You. <laughs> <laughs> You're weak! When he comes in, standing ovation from Michael Bolton for breaking, breaking the seal. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Bolton. Uh, woo! Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton. All right, stop. So, uh, yeah, it, it's just about love. This was uh, Galente Ice interdiction. Uh, no, 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 please, no, 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 no. Why me? Why me? It's because we love you. That's why. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Who, who's the guy that came over and asked me for a Jaeger bomb? Who was that earlier? I need another guy. Uh, uh, I'm going to. I like this guy. He's coming over to help. I'm going to let these fine gentlemen off the stage now. Uh, thank you for joining us. Oh, we're going to do questions. WTV questions. Uh, there's an open mic thing going on. Is the host for that? If you all assholes want to ask questions, okay, step just the fuck up. If you don't, then whatever. I got a wizard hat on. It's all that really matters. You're a fucking wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I think or, uh, you can. Uh, Hi. One question. Yes. Did Hi. you ever see any mercenaries that is, he was talking about? Is there a drop in the panties button? No. <laughs> um, uh, no, actually, we, we haven't seen anything because he's some pathetic high sec pub lord who managed to end up with a super cap. Uh, that's actually the real sign that there's too many fucking super caps when you have people like riding in anomalies with them and handing them to Karthus. 
Like, I have a super gap. I'll just give it to you. No big. But no, we saw no mercenaries Jaeger. or anything, so. And could I have a Jaeger bomb? Yes, come on up. I yeah, come on up. We've got one loaded up. Uh, anyone else that wants to ask a question? Get your asses up here. We are Bobby bored and drunk. Question, this is actually Ask Michael Bolton the question. Ah! Be ah! quiet. I actually have a very simple statement. There is one way to join something, uh, Goon Swarm. You join something awful, you post well for three months, you get in. What the or fuck? Or you find a sponsor. What the fuck? If you did five minutes of research, hey. you would realize this. What the fuck? There's one way to join Test Alliance. You'd be a shitty corp recruit, you just to make him mad. Look, look join Goon Reddit Swarm. for three months, Goon you're Swarm in. Swarm it's easy is as fuck. It's a loving organization. We love you. We'll waive the post count just for you. I swear. <laughs> if you give us this. Uh, anyone else? What the hell is this shit? They don't want it. <laughs> they don't love you, Michael Bolton. You fucking eight questions last time. Was like a half. Oh, you're the fucking one. I don't. Sell us your super caps, guys. What? You're just using them to rat in anomalies anyway. Why? Can't you uh, rank? No, no, no. Let, 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 let the man ask a question. Oh. A questioner approaches. Guess, one question. This is actually for uh, the wormhole wormhole guy. Um, it's actually more of a question about how you feel being complete Care Bears. No. Oh! Well, I think. Uh, I mean, uh, I just thought I will. Tell you something about the guy with 22 accounts. I think he moved to drone regions and now he got kicked out of that as well. Uh, it, incidentally, if you want to make the guy kill himself, his name is The Wiz. It's <laughs> T H E space W I S. Not with a okay, Z. Let, the Wiz. Let the bad answer the question. Find him. Me? Yes? Well, I was going to say, depending on your definition of Care Bear, um, we actually oh, PvP a that. lot. But uh, the problem is that there's no one left up in wormhole space to PvP with because they're all dead or they're Russians and they just hide in their pods. This guy's fucking full of shit. Whoever shit talks to him has to deal with I think Two Step will disagree about that. Uh, anyone else has a question? Come forward, nerds. No, I've got a question. Uh oh, we're going to start talking to ourselves now. This is the only mic that works. I got to ask some questions. We need more Jaeger. Jaeger bomb. Eve University. Eve University. Got a question for you. At what point do you begin to have people leave Eve University? When they want to leave, or do you, have you ever booted anybody? When they want to leave. When they want to leave. Yep. Okay. The wormhole guy. Why do people leave the wormhole? Uh, it's usually because they. Uh some people join and they don't like the, uh, at least in our class five, they don't like the ability that they can't just do anything they want constantly. Um, you can't solo stuff in class fives for the most part. And so if they join and they want to do something right then and there without waiting, then it's really not the right place for them. All right, and I'm gonna get through the first four. Gentlemen's agreement. Where the hell do I get a hat like that? Cause you are cool as hell. I mean, come on. Uh, it, it, uh, it was a little store on the Upper East Side uh, in New York. Uh, I think it was... It's in the I, I feel like Sorry. I'm out of style here because I'm wearing a wizard hat. And <laughs> two of the guys here are wearing fedoras. Like, maybe I should be rocking yeah, a fedora. I, I, I just wanted to be... Sinuria guy. I just wanted to be prepared in case DNS Black showed us all up with his pod racer helmet it was again. A, it was a classy hat. That, that, you know, I'm going to awesome. pass the mic now. You have a question? Go ahead. Warrior, this question may or may not be serious. Um, Natalia, would you support me with the idea of inventing an anti-Titan dildo? An anti-Titan dildo? Yeah. So if you're suggesting that Titan pilots should get fucked in the ass, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, I really think CCP Grayscale just beat you to that punch. <laughs> <laughs> we love him now. He's our hero. <laughs> Moving down the line. You didn't say much, but I, I, I honestly have a question for you. That, that by far was one of the best holding and get me out of killing my shit things I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Wait, I have a question for No Hold Bars. Your, your last name is No Hold Bars. No Hold Bars. How many gay No Holes Bars? <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
what we don't get, yeah, Joe, we get guys telling us that's not how you write the pun. Like, that's not how you write it. You write it no hold, and then they spell it out for them. They're like, yeah. no, you don't get it. All right. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm though. disappointed because that's, that's, that's a pegging joke. That's yeah, pegging exactly. Pegging. And I know pegging jokes. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> the Matai's been pegged by his wife multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you just have to own it. It's, it's you know, a that's bit basically bad. what it is. Uh, we've got all these years we, of pegging jokes. We do have a no holes barred Facebook page, and people in like the course of their lives has mentioned that they are a bit worried about their wife seeing it because you know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call it quits because. No, wait a second. I've got zero questions. <laughs> Michael Bolton wants to talk about himself, guys. Tell Somebody, about me. please, please ask my own uh, questions. You guys can talk to each other about yourselves uh, all right. outside. Uh, with 20 minutes Wait, past, but question. one question. question what would be your opinion, hat. opinion on having top hats to go with the monocles? Everyone should have top hats, period, okay? Top hats. If I you really saw don't. me taking my clothes off, I had a top hat on. Just say yeah. it. It's the fucking You, you know, top it, I, I have a top hat at home. The main reason why I didn't bring it was because I don't trust fucking airlines not to destroy it. I don't yeah. understand why they okay. didn't add top hats. Okay, guys, thank you for showing rich. up. Thank you, guys, audience. Give them applause.